describe the terms crest, trough, compression and rarefaction. The crest is the point of maximum amplitude which is above the equilibrium line and the trough is below the equilibrium line. So the crest is the highest point of the wave, the maximum displacement, and the trough is the lowest point of the wave. Compression and rarefaction in the longitudinal wave. Compression is when the particles are pushed closely together and we have a maximum in maximum density. The rarefaction is where the particles are pushed furthest apart and this is the minimum density. Here we see as the drum vibrates it pushes up here so this is a point where they've been pushed together this is compression. This is rarefaction, compression, rarefaction. And here again a moment later this is rarefaction as the drum skin moves back again this is compression and rarefaction and so on. Here we have a graph of how the density of the air varies along this wave. This is a point of maximum density this is another point of maximum density. Notice this is actually a measurement of density not of displacement. We will look at a displacement distance graph in a moment. Displacement. This is the distance that an oscillating system is from its equilibrium position. The amplitude. This is the maximum displacement of an oscillating system from its equilibrium position. The frequency in hertz. This is the number of complete oscillations made by a system per second. Or it can be the number of oscillations made by made per second by a wave source. Period. This is the time taken to complete one single oscillation. Or the time taken f for the source of the wave to make one oscillation. The wave speed. This is the distance the wave travels per second. The intensity. This is the power output per unit area of the wave and it's related to the amplitude, actually the amplitude squared. Draw and explain distance, displacement time and displacement position graphs for transverse and longitudinal waves. Here we have a displacement position wave. This is the position, so this is one position, this is another position, this from one crest to another will be the wavelength. If we have a displacement time graph, this is amplitude again, this is the crest from one crest, this is one time period because this, the horizontal axis is a measurement of time. So be aware that when it's a displacement position graph or a displacement time graph. Here we show the displacement of the particle during this uh, transfer of energy uh, from, the, from the compression to rarefaction, compression to rarefaction. This is an excellent video which uh, shows the, um, with, with the different colors the compression and the rarefaction. You can basically consider each color line relative to its equilibrium position. For example, the green is very close to its equi equilibrium position. The blue is somewhat displaced. The red is a little less displaced. And we can show them by um, representing them with vectors. So the green is in the equilibrium position and the blue is displaced. So look how far the blue is displaced to the right. Look how far the red one is displaced to the right. The yellow one is displaced to the left and the lilac one is displaced to the left. So notice that where we have a line which is the, the high density compression, the particles are moved towards this point. And when we have very fraction, they're moved away from it. Now if we look at this point of compression here, we know that the particles to the left are pushed to the right. And here the particles on the right are pushed to the left. So this also gives a displacement. 
the ones here will have the minimum displacement here pushed to the right. These will have the maximum displacement on the other side pushed to the left. This point here is a point of maximum compression. This is a maximum very fraction. We can draw that line here. The red line is the point of very fraction. The particles to the left are pushed to the left. The particles to the right are pushed to the right. So this is the above this is pushed to the right, below the right axis is pushed to the left. And here again the compression, the particles on the left are pushed to the right. So these are pushed to the right and these are pushed to the left to make this compression, rarefaction, compression and so on.